In this video, we will learn why metals are often used in the form of alloys. A mixture of two or more metals or one or more metals with a non-metal is called an alloy. Pure metals are weak and soft. They can be bent easily, they can be hammered into sheets, they can be drawn into wires. The reason is, the atoms in the pure metals are arranged in regular layers. So when a force is applied, the layer slides over each other. Now this explains why metals are malleable and ductile. Now the question is, what makes the alloy stronger than pure metals? And the answer is very simple. The different sized atoms. Yes, these different sized atoms. When the metals are alloyed together, the regular arrangement of atoms get disturbed. So when this happens, even if you hammer it or you apply any external force, the layers will not easily slide over each other. And this is the reason why alloys are stronger than pure metals. If you see the arrangement of atoms in the pure metal, you will see that they are of same size and they are arranged in a regular pattern. So when an external force is applied, these layers slide over each other, making the metal soft. But in case of alloys, due to the different size atoms, the layers do not slide over easily. Alloys have many uses. Some of these are given. Brass, it's used in musical instruments and ornaments. Bronze, it's used in machinery, statues, bells. Stainless steel, it's used in car parts, cutlery, chemical factory, surgical instruments. Now these alloys are not just limited to these uses only. They have many other uses. What is important over here is, you need to know the composition of these particular alloys. Brass is composed of copper and zinc. Bronze is composed of copper and tin. Stainless steel is composed of iron, chromium and nickel. Well, I have tried to keep this video short and simple. I hope you will get the idea about the alloys. By now, you will be able to define the term alloy and can explain why metals are malleable and ductile and also why metals are made into their alloys. You should be able to draw the structure of a pure metal and also the structure of an alloy. These are the important points which you should keep in mind while learning about the alloys.